Shoppers saved billion dollars with coupons last year. But how realistic is it for the average person to spend time couponing? Today, armed only with strategic shopping tips, I compete with a couponer to see if I can save just as much without coupons. Is it worth it to coupon even if you don't have time to clip away every day? Coupon mom Stephanie Nelson says everyone can save no matter how much time you have. So Stephanie, is it really possible to save without couponing? I mean, do I stand a chance? Absolutely. In fact, I have five easy tips for you. One, know your store savings programs. When you walk in the store, pick up that ad. Look at the deals on the front page and the back page. Secondly, be brand flexible. Buy the brand that's on sale and compare the name brands to generics. Then thirdly, when you're buying meat, compare the prices of fresh to frozen. That could save you money. And fourth, when you're shopping, keep an eye out for in-store specials, coupons on the shelf, extra savings in the store. And finally, don't pay the price of convenience. Wash your own lettuce, cut your own carrots. That'll save you a lot of money. I can do that. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Meet my competitor, Brenda. She's been couponing for about a year now and saves about 50% a week on groceries. I don't consider myself an extreme couponer, but I'm in the middle. Okay, you each get identical list, 20 items. You brought coupons. You have the five tips I gave you. Now have fun shopping. Most stores have their own unadvertised sale items. Here at Stop and Shop, they're called Real Deals. A Publix, Advantage Buys, Kroger, Kroger Plus Deal. Pathmark, Pathmark Perks. By knowing how your store's savings programs work, the typical family can save 50% on their groceries. When you compare the cost of frozen meat to fresh meat, you may find a 20% difference. It's different every week depending on what's on sale, but it's worth comparing. It doesn't make sense to pay for the convenience of someone else peeling your carrots or washing your lettuce. I save $5 a week washing my own lettuce over the course of a year, that's $250. Receipts, ladies. Let's see. Okay, Vera. Before any savings, your groceries would have cost $89.36, but you used the tip. You saved $12.49, which meant you only paid $76.87, a savings of 14%. Very good. And Brenda, let's see. Before savings, your groceries would have cost $84.69. You saved $22.30 by using coupons. And that meant you paid $63.57, and that's a savings of 27%. You're the winner. Congratulations. Now, Vera did great. She probably could have saved a little more if she'd been a little more brand flexible and shopped for lower prices. Both shoppers would have saved more money if they were more aware of special markdown areas. For example, there was a bakery markdown section and a meat markdown section that had great deals, and neither one of them noticed. So the point is, no matter what type of shopper you are, it's possible to save money. I may not have saved as much as Brenda the couponer did, but I did save 14% on my grocery bill just by sticking to these savvy spending strategies.